In Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals last year, Jalen Brown had one of his worst career games, and it all really came down to his ball handling. In this game, Brown had a career-high 8 turnovers. It was very apparent that Brown wasn't comfortable dealing with physical and aggressive defense. While not being able to maintain control of the ball when getting into these left-hand drives, but when jumping forward and looking at Brown's game today, I think he's made some big improvements. Now when looking at the raw stats for this year, Brown is averaging 2.4 turnovers a game, which is the lowest it's been over his last 5 seasons. And I think a lot of this points to Jalen's improved control and stability with the ball. When playing downhill, Jalen this year has been an extremely physical driver, being able to both initiate and absorb contact with the ball, which allows him to carve out attacking angles. On this play, notice how the defense is able to slide with Jalen's initial burst. But watch how Brown is going to absorb this first bump, to then take one dribble and re-attack through the defense's body, to then step through and get this layup at the front of the rim. Now the obvious but most important thing to recognize in all of these clips is that Brown is able to maintain control of the ball while he's attacking. And Jalen this year has been able to consistently do that going both right and left. USA roster, at least the player ball is Brown, cocks it back. Now Jalen overall still really favors his right hand when he's both attacking on the perimeter and getting into finishes at the rim. But this year, I've seen a massive improvement with Jalen's ability to both commit to left-hand drives and maintain control of the ball while doing so. Last year, I thought Brown's game in isolation was pretty predictable. If he was going right, it was going to be an aggressive straight line drive. But if he was going left, it was going to most likely be a pull-up. Off the bounce, if Jalen had space, he for sure had a deep bag of different setups and moves. But at the end of the day, if Brown committed to a move going right, he was primarily looking to attack all the way into the deep paint. And if he committed to a move going left, he was pretty much always stopping short to pull up. And that's because Jalen wasn't comfortable attacking into traffic with his left hand, which is why to a certain degree Brown's game was limited. Right here, you'll see Brown catch this pass in the corner, then attack towards the middle of the floor. And from this spot, Brown has all this open space to attack into, which would most likely lead to him collapsing the defense and setting up an open three for one of his teammates. But Brown instead elects to stop and turn back towards the baseline for this tough fadeaway. Now again, when looking at Brown's game today, he's still a very right-hand dominant player. But Jalen now is way more comfortable initiating drives towards his left to then get back to his strong right hand into finishes. On this play, notice how heavily this defender is sitting on Brown's right hand, which allows Brown to easily blow by him towards his left. Then once he gets into traffic, Jalen is going to pick up and get to this right hand finish. You can see Jalen make the exact same read here, where the defense is again overplaying his right hand, which allows Brown to attack into open space towards his left, to then Euro back over to his right for the finish. One of Brown's go-to moves is this hanging right to left between, where Jalen skips up, drops his shoulders, and plants his outside foot selling the drive, to then transfer the ball between and dart downhill. And Jalen can also hit this move in stride while playing on the break. Watch how smoothly here he transfers his weight to his right foot to then bring the ball between and stride. When scoring in the deep paint, Jalen has also gotten much better at using his offhand, being able to both maintain control of the ball while dribbling through contact to then use that left hand to extend up and create finishing windows. You'll see Brown on this play create an attacking angle by first picking up momentum skipping off his right foot to then swipe with his off arm, pulling himself into this drive. And from here, Brown has the control to extend the ball out into this left hand finish. I love this move here, where Jalen is going to get to this right to left crossover and transition, and watch how Jalen is going to initiate contact by pushing off his left foot and veering back into the defense, which gives him a wide open finishing angle. 
and Brown's also comfortable using his left hand while attacking mismatches in the post. Watch him here catch and turn over his right shoulder to sink this extended out jump hook. So because defenses now respect Jalen's ability to attack towards his left, Brown can now leverage that to create drives towards his right. Watch him here hesitate by briefly lifting his chest up to then extend his left foot all the way out selling this drive. But then Brown's gonna bring the ball between to re-attack the defense's top foot. Brown pulls back, Brown tries again. Scoop layup off the glass, boy Jalen Brown. I also think Brown this year has gotten much better at using his body to protect the ball. In the past, Jalen almost exclusively attacked his man squared up, which led to him having issues when he was going up against a shorter and more aggressive guard who could get underneath them. And when Brown did try to turn his back to protect the ball, it was clearly something he wasn't very comfortable doing. Right here, you'll see Tyrese Maxey aggressively switch out onto Brown. And notice how Jalen is going to turn and use his body to protect the ball. But as soon as he looks to commit to a drive, Maxey is easily able to find a window to poke the ball free. But when jumping forward and looking at Jalen's game today, he's now very confident and comfortable using his body to protect the ball, which both helps him cut down on his turnovers, as well as take advantage of physically smaller defenders. On this play, notice how Brown is going to catch and immediately turn and put his left shoulder forward. Then he's going to again swipe with his off arm as he gets into this drive. And as Brown starts coming downhill, notice how he keeps that shoulder into the defense's chest, which allows him to protect the ball and step into a finish. Brown's going to do the exact same thing here, where he again catches and puts his inside shoulder into the defense and works him down into this two foot floater. This is also a nice move here, where the defense is going to step up and pressure Jalen out 30 feet from the basket. And instead of trying to square up and drop down into a dribble combination, Brown is going to remain calm and use his body to shield the ball, to then completely lose his man with a half spin. Now Brown is still by no means a perfect ball handler. I still think at times he can be pretty loose and casual with the ball, while also committing these unforced turnovers. But overall, I still think the stats and film show that Jalen is making some pretty steady improvements. He's way more comfortable handling the ball through contact, he's better at initiating drives and getting into finishes going left, plus he's also developed better ball security by using his body more against smaller matchups. At this point, the only thing we can do is wait and see how all these skills translate in the playoffs. If you want to support this channel directly, feel free to check out my Patreon for exclusive breakdowns. But regardless, I still appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one. The kids here.